Hey everybody, this is Joby. Today I want to talk to you about another way to get materials and possibly make some money. Uh, it's the hirelings. So if we look in crafting, we go to skills. Uh, a lot of people probably know this already, but I'm sure some people don't know. And uh, this is just like uh, a free thing, okay? And uh, alchemy doesn't have one. Uh, blacksmithing does. And here it is. Minor hireling. Minor as in... Uh, somebody who mines things. A miner hireling will search for resources for you. A new delivery from your hireling can be claimed the next time you log in or change zones provided it has been no less than 12 hours since the last bundle. What it is, there's three levels to it. You get three skill points in there. All of them have it. As you can see, all of them except alchemy does not have a hireling and jewelry does not have a hireling. They need to get that. Let me tell you what. Blacksmithing, clothing, enchanting, provisioning and woodworking and uh, they all have the hireling now what that does is you put the points in there you work your skills and be able to put the passives in there put the points and then in the mail this is what will happen and I logged in last night and then I logged in this morning and I've got all these real funny they write to you like these really funny notes and stuff and uh, I've read them all and uh, there's quite a few different notes but as you can see sapphire moonstone pitch Rough Ruby Ash. Take that. Delete it. Raw Enchanter materials. It's a couple of, couple of things. Sometimes it's great. I've got Tempers and Kudas before. Just depends. Not really much there. but Now, the thing is, I'll just go ahead and take all these. It builds up, you know. It's every single day. This stuff will happen. And you'll get that in your mail if you, you know, happen to play it two different times. You'll get more. I mean, 20 flower, that's pretty decent. And if you do it on multiple characters, you get so much stuff. I'm starting to understand that the armory station is uh, limitless potential. What it can do. The people's ideas, you know, about saving a respec in your character. You know, go do it once. Do a complete respec. Have no points in there. And come back and save a slot. And then that's just like a free respec. Of course, if you just want to do your morphs or whatever, it's probably easier just to use the respect station. But that and, you know, um, LL talking about making all your characters crafters. And I'm just, uh, I was just thinking, you know, it'd be good to tell people about the hireling. Anybody that, uh, of your characters that you don't really use that much, or even if you do use them, you just go put all the points into the hireling. And then from there, log in every single day, go through the list of your characters. And, you know, if you did, if you did like even five characters and all you had to do is when you first got on you just log in collect the mail log out log back into the other character and that way you'll get a steady supply of um, materials coming in sometimes temper sometimes kudos especially if your crafting is leveled up high so you could just leave the points in for the hireling and you don't need any of the other crafting stuff the truly the lazy person's way to uh, to farm and uh, I think it's, uh, I think they're great. I've had them for a long time. At first, when the game came out, I didn't really understand what that was. And, um, you know, it's it's just a way to get materials. Especially if you have ESL Plus, it's great because it just goes right into your craft pack. If you don't, a little bit more management is involved. I played without um, ESL Plus for like three years because I uh, am a cheap bastard. And that's the reason. But... The thing is, now I have it because of space in the guild house and stuff, and uh, I love it, of course. I always loved it when it was a free trial, but even if you don't have it, you can still get the really good stuff and then just uh, either sell the rest or uh, uh, delete it or whatever you want to do. Well, that's really about it for today. I just wanted to make a quick video trying to make tell people how to make some money. Well, that's really about it for today. I just wanted to tell people how to make a little bit of money or get some extra materials if they need it, and... Uh, of course, the level of the things that you get, like I get Ruby Ash and, uh, you know, all the high level stuff because I'm fully leveled out crafter. And if you're lower level, you get the uh, items of your level. All right. So please give me a like and a subscribe. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment in the comment section. If there's anything that you'd like to see or if you have an idea about a video or a helpful tip, just let me know. And uh, if I like your idea and I hadn't already made a video, I just might make a video about it. Giving you full credit. I'm all about those shout outs. Join me in Discord. The most chilled Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description. If you're not doing anything 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Eastern Standard Time. Follow me on Twitch. Upper Echelon Mediocrity is the name of the channel. It's just one word. Have a lot of fun running around with the guildies. Yesterday we did dailies. Day before that we're doing vet dungeons. Sometimes we do trials. You just never know. If you're on Xbox One, North American server, you can join my guild. My guild's name is Upper Echelon Mediocrity, just like the channel. Three words. Right now we have 475 total members with 49 members online ready to go. We are not in the guild finder, so you need to send me a message on Xbox. My name is K-O-D-C-H-A-O-T-E-Y, and uh, I'll get you in as soon as time permits. All right, so until that time, let's get paid.